Have you ever found yourself that you need a new outfit or you think you need a new outfit because you're going to this special occasion event and you're running around town trying to find the perfect outfit? Or maybe you're just, you have a new client meeting and you kind of very last minute throw on an outfit and you feel okay, it feels fine, but then what happens is you get to the event, you get to your client meeting, and something just feels off. Hi, I'm Annette Bond, personal style expert, and I help successful, savvy women just like you. I show you how to use your wardrobe to express and elevate your style, your confidence, and your influence from the inside out. And yes, we'll talk more about that inside out. So let's go back to this scenario. You have this event coming up and you, you know, you've shopped and you get there and you go, you know, it was okay, but it wasn't that, wow, I just nailed it. Wow, I feel like a million bucks. That was lacking. Or your client meeting and you're thinking, dang, I wish I would have dressed up just a little bit more. I felt like I really blended in. You know, one of the things that I have clients will talk about, they, I had this one gal, she says, you know, I'm, I'm going to a networking event. What should I wear? And this is where the second step of fashion feng shui comes in. It's called dress with intention. So my response to her was, what do you want others to feel when they meet you? So she shared what that was. I believe it was approachable. It was fun. I also said to her, there's another way to look at this as going in, we're using this example right now to be very intentional. Let's say we're going to a networking event. If you are somebody who does not like networking events and you would love to attract those people to you without saying a word, then it's using your wardrobe as a tool as a business tool. And today I wore this red jacket because this would be something that I would wear to a networking event. And why would I do that? Just think about it for a minute. If a woman walked into the room, and let's just say she was from head to toe in this gorgeous red dress, she would, in your mind, you would say, oh my gosh, who is that? Look at that red dress. And there would be a little bit of curiosity of, you might want to get to know her. Number one, that's what red does. It captures attention. I guarantee you that if I wore this jacket, happens to be a jacket, into an event that I would have people come up to me. So it isn't just color, and that is one way of dressing with intention. That's on another topic of the personality of color, because color does have a personality. So think about a same scenario. A woman walked in dressed head to toe in black, and another woman walked in in red. Who would grab your attention? Who would you kind of rush over? I want to get to know this person. Wow, they have a lot of vibrancy about them. Um, they're probably maybe possibly a little bit of extroversion, extroverted, and you just want to get to know them. So this, this whole dress with intention is truly to be used in all facets of your life. For example, I have helped women who are on the dating website and they're looking for a wardrobe to start dating. 
And again, we go through the process. What's your intention? How do you want others to feel about you? Because whether you know it or not, styles, colors, fabrics, and textures have a personality. And this is the beauty of fashion feng shui, the fashion feng shui style system is understanding when I talked about from the inside out, we're just not going to use our your old way of choosing an outfit, which is super random and very last minute going to your closet and deciding what should I wear. We're going to think about it. What is this event? Think about your lifestyle. You know, I'm also, as another example, working with a lot of women that their work wardrobe has really gone down a notch. It's not as dressy as it used to be. I'm working with a lot of women with date night and they're deciding, I want to be more intentional on the way I dress. And what is it I want others to perceive? What do I want others to know about you? And it is fascinating. And the best part of it is, is that you now have a closet. When you start dressing with intention, you start building and designing a wardrobe that is worked around your lifestyle. It's not just going to the boutique or the department store and just randomly. The randomness of shopping is done. Through the fashion feng shui style system, we're going to shop with intention so that when you have your next event, whether it is a networking event, whether it's a special occasion, whether it is a date night, you have the perfect outfit. I will invite you to the next fashion feng shui where we are going to talk about color and I will see you there.